everybody and welcome back to another episode of Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. Today we have another John Barr Classic. This is the Graphic Caddis. To start the fly, I'm gonna use a Vivis 8 dot thread, the fluorescent chartreuse color. It's a great color, really pops. Uh, we're also gonna use a brown thread to finish off the fly, the uh, 16 knot Vivis in brown. The main body of our fly is gonna be that thread with uh, midge tubing, clear, wrapped over it. We're gonna tie on a little bit of a tag end on the back using some silver flashaboo. And then on the front of the fly, our legs uh, slash wing buds of this caddis emerger is gonna be the partridge skin, a partridge feather, and then finished off with a little bit of ostrich hurl in brown color. It'll all be tied on the fire hole 315. So we're gonna start with the chartreuse thread, the fluorescent chartreuse, and I'm gonna start it towards the center of the fly here, kind of marking out where I'm gonna have my abdomen and my thorax be divided there and where we'll start the legs and the ostrich. So we're gonna tie that down and just work our way back here. A couple of thread wraps, making sure everything's locked in place before we come in with the midge tubing. And we're gonna tie that down. And I'd like to tie it so that I don't have to cut it. I'm just gonna tie it down to the body. And it also helps to keep a consistent uh, diameter thickness on my abdomen there when I go to wrap all the materials for the body. So we'll work our way back to where we want that to end, going a little ways down the hook shank, giving some nice curvature to this fly. And then I'm going to come in with a couple strands of flashaboo and tie those in. And this will be that, that tag end, kind of the, the hot spot on the back of this fly. So we will fix that down just like we did the tubing, working our way back and then coming on forward. So you can see I'm trying to be nice with my thread wraps just because that's what's going to show through on the tubing. So I like to have them keep, have them nice and, and touching the, the closed Palmer wraps as we work back. So, and we'll build just a slight taper to it as well. Kind of evening out that spot where we tied in our, our flash boot right here. There we are, and then take it on up. And we're gonna half hitch our thread off here. So now that we got our thread out of the way, we're gonna bring our flashaboo and just do some wraps towards the back, covering up that chartreuse thread right on the back end of this. Just a little bit, something a little shiny to catch the sunlight and attract the fish. Just like so. And then we can come back with our thread here. and capture that out. And then prepare to wrap the clear tubing over top. So trim out that tag end. Another half hitch up up front. So close touching wraps on this as well. Cover up our entire abdomen here. Just like so, and then we're gonna clip our tubing out. Be careful not to pull it too taut or it'll slide underneath your thread wraps there and unravel on you. But we'll do some security wraps on that little tag end sticking out, and then I'm just gonna half hitch this off. 
You can also just bring in your brown thread and capture it out. Just get it out of the way there. And we're gonna switch threads. All right, so now I'm gonna come back in with the Vivas 16 aught in brown and work that on here. Just a nice natural color to finish the fly off with. And we'll work back to where we want to segment our thorax from the abdomen. So not quite a third of the way, maybe just, just shy of that, like so. And then I'm just going to clean it up here a little bit and make a nice smooth transition to try and make wrapping our uh, final material, the peacock, or not the peacock, the ostrich hurl, just a little bit easier. Okay, but before we get to that, I'm gonna come in here with our partridge. I'm gonna go to feather here, kept the stem long so I have something to hold on to there, and just trimmed out all the duff, pulled out all the duff off of it. And I'm gonna come in and clip a little bit of a V. Just removing the center fibers so that you have kind of a tie-in point there. So just like so, just like you do a copper john and other style flies like that with partridge. And then we're gonna lay it on top here. I'm just gonna kind of measure right about the length of the body there. See if I can show you. Just about like so. And then we'll tie that in. So position it on top again, measure it out, and then kind of pinch it on the sides. And I always do a loose wrap or two so that I can kind of pull them out and position them exactly how I want them there, make sure they're even and how I want them. So that looks pretty good, so we'll cinch it down. Just like so. And again, just clean that up a little bit here. Doesn't have to be too pretty, just want it to be fairly smooth for our last material here. All right, so we're gonna take our ostrich hurl here. Got a little uh, piece pulled off of the quill and I just trimmed off some of the barbels so that I got a nice smooth tie-in point. I'm gonna tie that right in on the side of the hook here. And just make sure it's nice and secure. And then we'll bring our thread back up and half hitch it off. And then we can wrap our ostrich hurl up towards the hook eye. So just nice touching closed wraps. Starting at that partridge, working our way up here, right up to that hook eye. And then we'll take our thread and capture that off as we usually do. Now we can clip out our excess there. It's like I trapped a few barbels, so I'm just gonna try and pull those back as we lay our final thread wraps here. There we are, so now we can whip finish. Trim that out. And then we'll add a little glue for durability and we're all done. This is a great fly in the summer months when you got a lot of caddis activity, emerging caddis, caddis on top, 
great dropper fly if you're uh, running an Alcare or a stimulator or something like that up high on the surface. Dropping this down below is uh, a great rig. And this bars graphic caddis is a very effective fly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there. My heart over my mind. I'm not over.